چرا در سوریه وارد شدیم؟ چرا در عراق وارد شدیم؟ کنک کردیم؟ خب این آتفه انسانیست، وجدان انسانیست وقتی میبینه انسانهایی در یک حجمه وسیعی از افرادی که از گرگ بد سیرتتر هستند آماده دریدن هستند هر انسان با وجدانی نمیتونه این رو تحمل کنه حرکت میکنه My first honorable guest is a seasoned diplomat since 1989, a very keen observer in today's geopolitical situation. The Ambassador of Islamic Republic of Iran in Portugal, His Ex Excellency Dr. Murtaza Daban Palchami. He will throw light on, is Soleimani secured European and American people? I would like to request His Excellency, Dr. Murtaza Daman Pak Jami. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, first of all, I would like to welcome uh, uh, all distinguished guests who uh, accepted the invitation of Ahlul Bid Association Portugal uh, and our uh, invitation to attend this uh, important uh, seminar uh, on the life of and efforts of uh, Sardar of Humanity, uh, Marte Soleimani, uh, and also thank and appreciate the initiative of Ahlul Bayt Association Portugal, uh, my dear brother Mustasan, for, for, for arranging this uh, very important uh, uh, gathering of scholars and personalities to talk about different aspects of life and efforts of uh, Martyr Soleimani. Uh, well, we are on the eve of uh, martyrdom anniversary of uh, the champion of the fight against terrorism in West Asian region, uh, Major General Martyr Qasem Soleimani, his tireless comrade. Abu Mahdi al Mohandes and uh, companions. Uh, recalling this uh, cowardly assassination in an, is an opportunity for us and for everybody who care about the security in our region to look once again to roots of rise and expansion of terrorism in our region, its supporters, and the role of those martyr commanders in the real fight against uh, uh, this ugly and Ill, inhuman phenomena, the terrorism. Uh, in my presentation, I would touch upon the reasons as well as regional and international implications of uh, this cruel terror, terror act, its legal and political aspects, how the world should deal with the phenomenon of state terrorism and consequences for the masterminds and perpetrators. On the reason and cause of this terror, in a very crucial time of our region, happened a year ago, uh, I want to emphasize that what transpired at the early hours of January 3rd, 2019, was not a mere attack on Iraq's national sovereignty or just a brutal uh, assassination of a proud Iranian general. I would say that, in fact, one of the pillars of striving for security in, uh, in this area, who fought with various plots, was targeted. Terroristic extremist groups from Al-Qaeda to uh, uh, ISIS, uh, Al-Nusra Front, and others, the very brain children of the United States and its regional servants, those are 
who uh, the people who view commanders like Soleimani and Abu Mahdi al muandis as their greatest enemy. And that was the main reason for their assassination. Uh, the masterminds and perpetrators of assassinating martyr Soleimani and the resistant commanders in Iraq claimed that the removal of these uh, people would make the region safer. This was what mentioned right after the assassination in a statement of the uh, terrorist military uh, 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 group of the United States in the region, CENTCOM. But they essentially eliminated the real counter uh, terrorism fighters. In fact, to, fi to widen the ground, the, the ground for the terrorists uh, under their protection. So that was the reason that this uh, state terrorism act happened. But they 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 didn't know that what would be the reaction of the entire region and rather the whole world. In fact, uh, these two great heroes of the fight against terrorism, especially General Soleimani, are not only known figures for the people of West Asia and Middle East, but also for all people of the world, of any religion, race, and creed who wants to get rid of the devilish terrorist forces. And that was the reason that during the uh, uh, funeral ceremony for these martyrs in the, in the cities of Iran and Iraq, millions of people uh, be farewell to these beloved personalities. And, and even for their mourning, uh, we saw hundreds of thousands of people in other countries, in Lebanon, in Pakistan, in India, who attended the uh, mourning ceremonies for this uh, martyr. That shows that they were, and they are also, in the heart of the people of the region because they were the real fighters against terrorism. Uh, General Soleimani entered the uh, anti-terrorism battlefield from the first day that ISIS and other terrorist groups rise and he blocked their advances to conquer the entire region from the very beginning. We all know the stories, what happened in Iraq, what happened in Syria, what was the situation six years ago, seven years ago. And what is the situation now? If uh, had not been the outstanding efforts, management, and genius, as well as the exceptional power of these Iranian and Iraqi commanders, we would still have witnessed the rise of ISIS and other terrorist group, smaller or, or uh, let's say large, in Syria, in Iraq and other regional countries. So let's, let me uh, then uh, conclude by saying the role of, this, uh, of these fighters against terrorism, that the assassination of this brave general was the end of the imaginary and fictitious claims of the false calamity of the war on terror. We all Recall that right after the incident of September 11, uh, uh, so they they, they uh, took the flag uh, of uh, of fight against terrorism, but actually, what we saw in our region was that they provided the terrorists with arms, funds, and a space to operate and bring their new colonialism to the region through proxy wars. And this is the situation that we faced in our region. The martyrdom of these precious and unique assets has not only not dried up the roots of terrorism in the region as they claimed, uh, 
but we were still witnessing the threat of terrorism and extremism in the region and its spread in other regions like what we see now in uh, North Africa. So, uh, in fact, they were completely wrong by saying that by uh, murdering these commanders, they wanted to fight terrorism. And as I said, they rather wanted to prepare a better ground, a more suitable ground for terrorists uh, to have their operations. What is, uh, then let me touch upon another, another aspect of the consequences of the uh, terror act uh, against these brave commanders. And that was the, that is the reaction of the international community, especially the countries in Western hemisphere. In fact, uh, uh, it, it is clear that what happened a year ago uh, in uh, the assassination of these commanders was uh, state terrorism. We, uh, we had this, uh, act of state terrorism in our region before there is uh, the, uh, the uh, another root cause of state terrorism in the region that is the Zionist regime but this time Americans who have always supported this Zionist regime uh, measures uh, in the region they did it themselves but surprisingly is that that the uh, the indifference and silence to this terrorist act by what is called as international community. This caused this process to take on new uh, proportions with the recent assassination of the Iranian scientist, Professor uh, Martyr Mohsen Fakhrizadeh by another terrorist state. If, uh, if by the time of the assassination of General Soleimani, there was a, a, a prompt and real reaction by international community if there was condemnation. If the perpetrators would have brought to justice, then we would have not witnessed the continuation of this kind of terror acts, this time against Iranian scientists. Those who remain silent on General Soleimani's assassination and the recent one are the same who remained ignorant about the violation of the rights of the Iranian people to survive by the unlawful U.S. economic war during the even the coronavirus pandemic, uh, preventing Iranians of access to medicine and medical equipment, and by their own non-compliance of the commitments made in the nuclear deal with Iran. I namely mention the European countries who just uh, kept quiet and then they also accompanied the what the United States did against the Iranian people. It is important that the international community should come to the true understanding that terrorism does not distinguish color, religion, race, social class and geography and has targeted all classes and societies with its sinister intentions. Uh, so given the divergence of the scope of actions and complex nature, it is clear that terrorism is a global problem today. And therefore countering it requires a global approach and solidarity. So this is what required from the so-called international community, and otherwise we would uh, possibly witness more and more kind of this state terrorism against the personalities and people of other nations. So what was done by the United States in assassination of these brave commanders was completely against international law as well. The assassination of uh, these national heroes and the precious and beloved figures of the people of the region, both Muslims and Christians, has not only violated all the standards of international law and internationally accepted norms, but also is considered the violation 
of the sovereignty of independent states. So this act was happened in the soil of an independent state while those who were assassinated were also uh, the guests of, uh, of that country, the Iraq. So let me uh, let me mention that uh, 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 while I know that the time is constrained, that much have been said uh, about uh, the role of uh, Martyr Soleimani in combating terrorism, but uh, Martyr Soleimani also was the man of peace. Uh, we all know that while he was going to Iraq. He was to negotiate uh, with the Iraqi authorities, including Prime Minister. Uh, Iran's reply to a letter received through Iraq from Saudi Arabia. So he was a peacemaker. He was the man of diplomacy equally as he was the man of war against the stability and against terrorism. Uh, so we, by, by what I said, no, we, we can understand that we all miss uh, the great role of uh, Major General Soleimani in combating terrorism, although the flag is now in the hand of the other soldiers. There are many other Soleimanis in Iraq and Ira uh, Iran and Iraq and other parts of the region to cope and fight against terrorism. Uh, so, but we all we have lost uh, a brave soldier. A real soldier, uh, and uh, so because of that, it's it's obvious that the Iranian people and the people of the region will never forget and will never forgive those uh, uh, masterminds and perpetrators of this act of terror. Uh, even they may soon leave the uh, the power but not being not in power doesn't mean that they will not bring they will not they will not bring to justice they are they should be accountable to what they have done and they shouldn't be left unpunished and this is what we the iranian people and many people in the world they have promised to do so uh, uh, i think uh, Justice is what we are looking for, for the assassination of these uh, commanders. So may Allah uh, uh, allow uh, their soil to live in peace and God bless them and would allow them, would enable, uh, would enable us to follow their path uh, so that we would have a region free of terrorism a region with stability, with peace and cooperation. Thank you.